My name is Madeline Corona. I'm the Objects Conservation Fellow in the Strauss Center for Conservation and Technical Studies at the Harvard Art Museums. Today I'm here to talk about this wall relief that I'm working on by Hans Arp. It's a 13-panel wall relief that was commissioned by Walter Gropius in 1950. These panels will be featured in a Bauhaus-related exhibition, and we've decided to take them back to their original red coating. marks the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Bauhaus in Weimar, Germany. The Bauhaus was founded in 1919 by architect Walter Gropius. It was an experimental school of art, architecture, and design. And the idea was that artists, artisans, and architects would all work together in order to create art, household items, and environments or architecture that would basically revolutionize everyday life. Gropius came to Harvard in 1937 to become the chair of the architecture department, and in the late 1940s he was commissioned to design the Harvard Graduate Center. When we look at the Harvard Graduate Center today, and especially the Student Center, what you first see are the flat roofs, which especially in 1950 would have immediately stood out on this campus. Um, it was one of the sort of iconic features, not just of Bauhaus architecture, but of modernist architecture at large. Another thing you'll notice are the flat walls. There's no applied ornament, and um, the predominance of glass. You know, when you think of heavy box-like buildings of a historical style here on campus, you think of heavy, thick brick walls, and that's because those walls are supporting the weight of the building. But with most modernist architecture, that weight of the building is carried by an internal steel frame that then allows the walls to open up entirely with these huge kind of vistas of glass. The five new law school dormitories house 386 students. Their quarters are simple, comfortable, convenient, efficient, and economical. With a distinctly modern brand of beauty based on clean lines and warm colors. It was very much a Bauhaus idea that it wasn't just the architecture, it was also commissioning contemporary artists to provide site-specific works of art, but also commissioning designers, textile artists like Ani Albers to create furnishings for the, the lounges and also the dorm rooms. Gropius commissioned paintings from Joan Miro, a uh, relief from Hans Arp, a uh, large world map from Georgi Kepisch. And so these are all figures who are really central to European modernism um, and the circles from which Gropius came. The spirit which has guided the architects of the Graduate Center has grown from the belief that there's no finality in architecture, only continuous change. Because architecture and the spaces we inhabit does shape how we live, how we think, and the values we have, Gropius was very critical of historical revivals. He felt very strongly that um, by living in this environment, the environment of the Graduate Center, by being surrounded by modernist architecture, that the students would absorb the values of modernism and become citizens of their time. 